Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rick. Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. And as you can see from the title down below, we are talking about reverse boosting. Two boxing, cheating, whatever you feel like calling it, it's the exact same thing. We're talking about that today. Now, before we get started, anybody that has TikTok brain, anybody that has ADHD like myself, anybody that hates the Rick, anybody that watches the video for two minutes and then comments below without even listening to the entire video, I'm asking you to please just pay attention for this video, okay? Listen to it and then comment down below after the video is done, okay? I love, I take pride in how good I am at responding to comments. I feel like it's very important to respond to people that watch your video. So I want you to just listen to what I have to say and then we'll debate down below in the comments. I don't care if you agree with me, disagree with me. That's the best thing about YouTube. You have your opinions, I have mine. Now, before we get started also, I need to make sure this is very clear. I despise Activision. I hate skill-based matchmaking. I, I, it literally is the truth. If you go down and do some research, I'm asking you guys that fucking hate on me to do some research. I do research when I make videos. I have my evidence when I make my videos. I want you guys to do your research as well because I despise skill-based matchmaking. I despise Activision. You can hate skill-based matchmaking and hate reverse boosting at the same time. I promise you it's possible, okay? Let me explain myself. There's this argument out there that people are reverse boosting to try to get that OG Call of Duty matchmaking feel, to try to get those old lobbies back in Call of Duty that they always experienced, okay? So last time I checked, Okay, and I've been playing Call of Duty since 2009, okay? Back in the day when there's no skill-based matchmaking. People are trying to say that there was. No. You click find a match in Modern Warfare 2 back in 2009, you were in a match like that. Didn't matter. No skill-based matchmaking. I'm telling you right now, okay? So, last time I checked, when you played Call of Duty back in the day, you played good players, medium players, and bad players. It was a mix of everything, okay? Kind of like what it is now. If you play Call of Duty with skill-based matchmaking now... Yeah, there's like one or two sweats in the enemy team. And after that, it's average or probably shit. Literally what it is. At least in my lobbies. And I play solo. I play with party. I play everything. Okay? I experience this shit. Those are the people that reverse boost. They don't experience it. But like back in the old days, it was a mix of good or bad. You might get a lobby of a six deck. They're absolute dog shit. Okay? You might get lucky. And you can stay with that lobby the whole time. If they don't feel like backing out, God bless you. You got a lucky lobby. Or you can get another lobby with a six stack. That's fucking godlike. It could be a mix of everything. That was without skill-based matchmaking. But the people that say reverse boost team is trying to get that OG feeling back. Here's the problem with reverse boost and why I despise it. If you reverse boost two box, okay, you have an account with a zero KD that you're joining. You are going to be playing the worst players in the fucking Call of Duty community. Absolutely terrible. Like so bad, like you literally think that they're AI bots. You are playing in a private match lobby with recruit bots at that point. That's a bad thing. That is not OG Call of Duty. That is just pissing on people that have no business even playing the game. They literally need to go in private match and play until they get better. That's how bad they are. That argument is invalid. That is why I have a problem with it. It's fake. It's cheating because it's reverse boosting, boosting, whatever you want to call it. And it's a joke. That's why I despise it. That's why I hate on it, because everybody's out here hiding their screens, changing the colors of the bot account in their lobby to make it look like an enemy teammate disconnected from the game. They're doing all this manipulation to try to trick their audience. Yes, maybe they admitted to it four years ago in a video back in Cold War, but what are they doing now? They're hiding their screen still. Why hide their screen if they're being honest? They're not putting it in their videos that they're reverse boosting. Why are they doing that? Hmm, I wonder why. They are manipulating the people that watch their videos to literally make them think that they're a god at this game. I'm asking you guys to go, go watch anybody that I have called out. Okay? Go watch them. Go in their comment section and see how many people literally think they're the best player in the game. See how many people are that are asking them, oh my god, why are you so good? How do I get this good? They're actually serious. They're not fucking trolling. How do I get this good at the game? Oh my god, give me some tips and tricks. These guys are manipulating their audience. How is that not seen as a problem? And then I go on Twitter, and I'll put some screenshots here, and I'm seeing these guys flexing their 10, 12, 15 KDs even on Twitter, making them seem like they're the best. Last time I checked with no skill-based matchmaking, nobody was getting a 15 KD. Nobody. Okay, maybe one person who was a fucking camping god maybe did it, but... If he was an actual player that played 12 days of a game back in no skill based matchmaking, you did not have a 15 KD. All right. The really good players back in the day had three, four, five KDs at most. 
You guys think it's normal to have a 15 fucking KD? You think that's OG Call of Duty? That is the fucking problem. You're trying to boost your ego because you're dog shit at the game or something's mentally wrong with you, okay? And you're just out there shitting on bots. And all these guys are saying, oh, they're not bots, they're real fucking players. No shit. But they literally probably have one fucking eye, they have one thumb, who the fuck knows what's going on? They can't play the game. They can't play the game. If you want to be that fucking worried, if you're so worried about your ego, go in a fucking private match and play bots. I'm telling you. Because you literally wouldn't tell the difference. If I had time right now, I would get on the game, go in a private match, go in and, and literally pull up these recruit bots and literally show you it looks exactly the same. Side by side, you would not be able to tell the difference. No grenades are being thrown. No slide canceling. No jump shy. No drop shy. Nothing. These guys are just sitting there not knowing where to fucking look. That's why I have a problem. But I also have a problem because these guys are stealing people's money. Anybody out there saying they're not, they're not doing it for content, they're doing it for having fun, the fuck you doing? Anybody that's reverse boosting and posting it on YouTube is doing it for content. They're not doing it for fucking fun. They're lazy as shit. Everybody now wants to sit on their ass behind a computer screen, play a fucking video game, and make thousands of dollars on it every single month. That's what people want to do. And the only way they can do that because they have no personality, they have no love for the game, the only way they think they can do that is by having two consoles next to each other or a PC and a console next to each other, play the fucking game against bots, get a li little two nuke gameplays that took no fucking skill to get, post it on there, and hope to God it gets in the algorithm. Okay? And the problem is, why do you think Call of Duty content has died? Because people want to do that. You have people like me who actually take time and edit my videos, take time and actually get behind a mic, fucking be able to talk without having a script, and I actually then have to go to work in fucking 30 minutes and have to actually benefit or actually contribute to society. Like, all these guys are an absolute joke, yet somehow, some way, people like me who call it out, people like me who want stuff, stuff to change and go back to honest content creation, somehow, some way, people like me are the hateful people the toxic people, the the roach content. I I was called low tier content or something. Somehow, some way, what I'm what I'm making is a problem because I'm exposing you weirdos for being fucking weird. How the fuck am I the problem? I just need to explain why I do it. I just want honest content creation back in Call of Duty. Is that so hard to ask? Is it so hard to understand why I want this back? All right, and then there's the other problem is and I've said this in the other videos if I go crazy in a gameplay Which everybody knows I don't reverse boost. I have a 2.5 KD never claim to be the best But at least I can fucking do it in real lobbies. I never claim to be the best I, I claim to be better than some of these reverse boosters and I've, I've, I've tried to 1v1 them They won't fucking do it even for money uh, But I actually go there and I post real content and then of course I get called the cheater I get called the reverse booster when I am fucking trying to change Everything within this community. It's a joke. I'm a I'm literally gonna continue to do it no matter how much hate no matter how many times I get docs You have people on Twitter posting pictures about my family literally going and stalking my account finding my Facebook or something I don't even know how it's happening Taking pictures of my grandma taking pictures of my cousins taking pictures of my aunts uncles and posting it on their Twitter The fuck are we doing? Because I'm trying to change the content, because I'm trying to bring back that OG content feeling of literally bringing Honest Call of Duty back, yet somehow I'm the problem? Try to make that make sense to me. Oh, you're worried about other people's business, then why are they fucking attacking me? If they're so, if they're the ones saying, stay out of anybody's business, why the fuck are they in mine? I'm doing the right thing, and everybody, for some reason, always attacks the guy that's trying to do the right thing. We kind of see that in today's world, don't we? Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I just had to get behind a fucking mic and rant. It's very hard for other content creators to do this because they have no way of being able to do it. They have no way of talking. They have no personality. They have no fucking drive, no energy. They don't give a fuck about you. I do. I don't even care if I have fucking only 500 subscribers. I would do this because this is what I care about. And of course, man, my calling is not to post gameplays every single day. I'm sorry. That's not what my YouTube channel is going to be. My calling is to expose the fucking fake content. It is what it is. People are saying I'm leeching or or I, I'm growing because of other people's content. The fuck you talking about? I'm growing because the Call of Duty is sick and tired of this fake shit. It is what it is. I'm doing it for views. The fuck you talking about? I could give a fuck about views. All I care about is people are finally waking up and we're starting to get away from this shit. Because look how many people are talking about it. Look how many people are talking about the reverse boost and trying to back themselves up. Trying to literally say why it's a good thing. And everybody's roasting them in the comments. 
everybody. Unless you're reverse boosting, everybody else is disagreeing with it. It's a total joke. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Follow my Twitch if you ever want to watch me live stream. We literally do this shit for real over here. It is what it is. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. If you hate me, if you want to roast me, go ahead. I don't give a fuck. But I just had to go out here, get behind this mic, and explain why this is such a problem. Have a great day, guys. It's a Monday. Fuck, man. Gotta go to work, but gotta go. Gotta go actually work, unlike these other people. Fuck we doing, man. Have a great day. I'm out. Peace.